Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So where better place to start with this Tau army than having a look at the characters as we always do. Uh, the great selection of miniatures, you've got two commanders in uh, crisis suits. So we've got an ethereal and hover drone and we also have uh, Shadow Sun herself with her two little accompanying friends. Uh, plus we have a outproduction Forge World commander that I can't remember the name. So if you do know it, put it in the comments below in the video. Uh, so let's start with the lady herself. Let's start with Shadow Sun. This whole project has been completed by James, one of the artists here at Siege. Um, he's done a great job of picking out all the intricate little details on her armor, the little orange parts on her gauntlets, um, all the little details on the armor, the gold nodules and things, which are great. We've got this little subtle glow on the uh, fusion weapons that we've got there. She's just uh, delicately bouncing off uh, that broken Aquila there with all the skulls and things on the base, as you can see. Uh, but a really, really clean miniature uh, painted to a lovely, lovely standard. So that's just uh, Shadow Sun herself. Uh, we'll have a look at her two little drones. Uh, I do really like these as they uh, they kind of look like they go together, but they, they don't, which I think is quite cool. But uh, you see all the lenses done there on those drones. Uh, really, really lovely, super sharp highlighted armor on all of these uh, with every little detail fully painted. So that's the two little drones. Uh, great little additions for uh, for her, for Shadow Sun. Uh, let's have a look at the Ethereal on the Hover Drone. Uh, again, a really cool model. Comes in the start collecting box, but uh, a lovely, lovely sort of pose. Really commanding, as you'd expect from an Ethereal, uh, with obviously the free-handed kind of like towel sort of sept markings there on um, on that sort of tabard. Uh, and you've got all the little details, even little beads and things all individually highlighted. And really lovely, lovely flesh tone on this as well. Really subtle transitions across the sort of high points on the volumes of the muscles. Uh, so that's quite nice. And I do like this sort of uh, blue bit of armor or cloth banner work here on the uh, on the floor. Uh, I think it's a really lovely sort of uh, little bit of detail. Just uh, makes that drone look like it is hovering, which is quite quite cool. So that's just the ethereal. Um, we'll next have a look at the uh, the Forge World Commander. Now, I don't remember this commander's name. So if you do know it, then please put it in the uh, comments of the video. Again, really cool colorway, this red and white split scheme, which I think is quite nice. Uh, you've got obviously the blue sort of uh, energized sort of barrels there on the uh, plasma weapon that he's got, plus this huge shield, as you can see there. Uh, again, all the little lenses and gems on the head and also on the, on the sort of backpack are also painted. Uh, and again, nice subtle amount of weathering on here as well, spatters of sort of uh, breaking of the paintwork and sort of a little bit of rusting kind of on those uh, those areas of the armor as well, which I think is quite nice. Uh, so that's just this awesome, awesome for or commander it just looks like he's landing and shooting someone into oblivion so that's just him uh, and then we've got two commanders uh, both exactly the same so we've got this first chap here uh, with the uh, awesome loadout I can't remember what these weapons are called cyclic iron blasters that's the one I, I thought it was going to escape me then but you've got these uh, cyclic iron blasters that are just on this uh, on this chap but again all the lenses painted on his head uh, all the little lenses on the armor even the little green ones on the on the shoulders and also on the left hand side uh, sorry right hand side of his chest armor uh, you've got the tower symbols uh, are all painted on different areas of these miniatures and again really super sharp highlighting across all the different areas of the armor panel and the miniature itself uh, we've got the other commander here that's just dashing into someone probably to vaporize them into oblivion so that's just this other commander looks like he's just landed and he's springing forward uh, which is really cool um, again pointing away there as you can see but you've got obviously all the tower markings across the different areas of the carapaces plus all the highlighting done across the white and the black of the armored miniatures uh, plus this really cool sort of glowing effect on the uh, on the barrels of those um, cyclic ion blasters as well so that's just the second one that's all the characters from the force and they're gonna have a look at all the infantry and there's quite a fair few of them so we're back to check those out in a second So 20 fire warriors up next and also 29 drones, a nice selection of different drone types, plus also the infantry. So the fire warriors are broken down into four squads of five, each with a squad leader that has red extra accents on the shoulder guard and also the bonding knife and aerial, as you'll see. Uh, but a lovely selection of uh, real bulk infantry to last and go out and go through this force as well, which I think is great. So let's just jump forward and have a look at some of these uh, Tau fire warriors to start. Uh, we've got um, just one of the squad leaders here with the uh, red uh, sort of, uh, armor paneling on his uh, pauldron sort of guard plus you've got the little free-handed towel symbols a bonding knife on his backpack uh, James has done a really nice job of just uh, picking out all the lenses 
and the little lights and things across all of the miniatures uh, and also the sights and things on the rifles as well are all done um, again really really super clean finish on all of these a little bit of weathering just done on them as well just to sort of give them that gritty kind of 40k-esque uh, sort of look so that's just uh, one of the squad leaders we'll pull forward a couple of the normal fire warriors uh, this chap here just with some extra details on his uh, on his head that sort of helmet there as you can see you've got the uh, sort of free-handed uh, necron symbols uh, again all the pad done on the pad also uh, again just charging forward firing here which is really really cool uh, again really subtle sort of weathering across all of the little areas of arm panelling across the force which I do really like and on the rifles and things so that's just another fire warrior pull forward some from the back squads just so you can see these got a crouching chap here again with all the details lenses and everything fully painted uh, nice of attention to detail on all of these sort of shading on the miniatures as well and again you've got that subtle amount of sort of weathering done on the white uh, just to really really sort of uh, give it again as I said a bit more of a gritty kind of feel obviously tower look very science, uh, sort of futuristic uh, which is good um, but obviously just to give them that little bit of grittiness just it makes them fit in a little better I think within 40k uh, so that's just another chap here as you can see give it a nice rotation so you can see all the way around uh, really nice subtle highlighting on the white as well uh, has got a great little super sharp edge highlight on all these we'll have a look at uh, another one of the squad leaders uh, so you can have a look at him Again, really, really sharp, defined sort of highlighting across all the areas of the armor paneling, uh, just holding what I believe is a grenade. Uh, so that's just uh, him either giving it to someone or about to uh, to toss it into like a building or something. Uh, but that's just another one of the squad leaders here. You can see with a bonding knife and also the um, the uh, the way everyone and everything all done. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, we'll have a look at the other squad leader. Again, do like showing off the sergeants. Uh, again, just using a scanner of some sort here. And you can see the scanner is all painted. The lens on the scanner is all done. Uh, again, just check checking maybe to see where the enemies are <laughs> uh, so that's just him uh, and then we'll have a look at a few of the extra little tower warriors here let's have a look at this guy here just advancing and uh, just about to level his gun and shoot someone undoubtedly uh, so that's just uh, another one of the fire warriors again but a really really super clean finish on all of these uh, so that's just the fire warriors then we'll have a look at the drones we've got loads of shield drones uh, so there are absolutely loads of these uh, again all highlighted nicely on all the greys and whites and different areas uh, every single little lens done on all of them as well so that you can see every lens on all the drones is done again the weathering is incorporated onto these just onto the antennae and around the edges of the uh, sort of uh, the dome as well so that's just a shield drone and then we've got loads of marker drones as well at the back so let's just have a look at a marker drone uh, grab one of these forward for you guys to see again you can see all the lenses done on this chap as well um, and all the grey and white fully highlighted with a really nice subtle highlight on there which I do think is crisp as anything so that's just uh, one, of the, uh, one of the marker drones uh, so that's all of the infantry and the drones of the force a nice nice addition to this army uh, up next we're gonna have a look at all of the broadsides and the heavy hitting riptides they're coming up So up next, we're gonna have a look at the three Riptides from this force and the three Broadsides. Some serious firepower for this Tau army. Let's start with the Broadsides. I've always liked the Broadside suit. I think it's a really bulky, heavy hitting suit, which you can see, uh, this is the squad leader just uh, done with that the red helmet there as you can see uh, and again that nice red and white sort of scheme that uh, this army's got just demonstrated on this broadside all the missile pods this guy's got every missile you could possibly imagine uh, and again James has done a really nice job just highlighting all the areas of the armor paneling you've got the reactor there that's all picked out and uh, glowing which is lovely and again that subtle sort of damage that's been done across the various areas of the armor paneling on the suits uh, so that is just the uh, the squad lead up from this uh, three set of um, Broadsides, we'll have a look at some of the other broadsides. We'll put them all forward because there's only uh, three models in each unit, which is quite cool. Again, this guy just uh, unloading everything into somebody um, with both the, of his sort of missile fists raised uh, and just advancing there as well, which I think is really cool in the pose. Uh, again, all the little lenses and everything all fully painted on these guys, as you can see, both on the missile arms and also on the head. You've got the tail markings, the set markings on the side of the head. Um, again, the same consistency from miniature to miniature on all the highlighting across all the armor panels and different areas of the uh, sort of suit. Again, you've got the react glowing there at the back which I really do like uh, that lovely sort of subtle glowing effect on there which is really cool uh, so that's just the second of the two broad of the three broadsides and we'll pull the last one forward so you can have a look uh, again do really like this guy shooting away as you'd expect uh, and again the same consistency across all the miniatures uh, with all the highlighting and attention to detail across the various aspects of detail on the miniatures so that's just the last of the uh, broadsides then we have the big boys uh, which are really really cool again three uh, three uh, riptides which are just brilliant models um 
pull the first one forward. This guy just uh, leaping forward, firing away here. Just get this to focus for you guys. Apologies. Uh, and again, James has done a great job of picking out all the little details across this kit. Uh, really large model, as you can see. All the lenses all done, both on the head, on the little um, uh, scanner here, uh, across all the different little bits of detail. Nice sort of free-handed sort of towel markings just on the shield. Uh, and then when we move around the back, you can see all the areas of detail fully highlighted across the white armor paneling, the black on the legs, and also on any uh, sort of gold or metallics. Uh, so that's just this uh, awesome, awesome Riptide. So first of the three, we'll have a look at the uh, crouching guy, uh, taking a bit more of a relaxed pose to uh, the Tau expansion, um, but a really, really cool uh, pose and uh, model. Again, you've got that massive burst cannon, uh, all the little lenses across every aspect of the miniature, all fully painted, which I do really, really like. Uh, so that's just this awesome, awesome uh, Riptide. Uh, do really like the shield as well. The shield's awesome, and uh, that's just him. Uh, and then we'll look at the last chap, which I do like. Out of all three poses, he's probably my favourite. He's uh, it looks a bit like he's chilling a little bit, uh, a bit carefree. He's like, if you want some, come and get it. Uh, you got the uh, towel markings just on the uh, sort of uh, sort of armour panels and things, which are really cool. Again, some more towel towel markings just done on the shield. Um, and we've got this awesome sort of uh, sort of he doesn't care kind of stance, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just this uh, third Riptide, uh, and you can see obviously all the little lenses and everything all fully painted across the uh, the model. Uh, so that's just the three Riptides, guys. I do hope that you liked it. The whole army is now off to create another expansion for the Tau Empire. So I do hope that you uh, have liked this video and all the models that have been within it. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.